Today on the Arkham Chronicle, we're going to be talking about Roland Banks. Roland has the highest combat of all the investigators in the core box. He's pretty average at investigation, he's pretty average with willpower, but his low agility makes him very poor at evading. In order to talk about Roland, we need to recap on the phrase, discover a clue. Discover a clue means to remove one clue token from a location and place it on your investigator card under your control. If there are no clues on a location, you cannot discover any. Roland's signature ability is a reaction trigger. It says, after you defeat an enemy, discover one clue at your location. Defeating an enemy is done by dealing equal or greater damage than its health value and removing it from play. This is an excellent ability providing there are both enemies and clues at your location. If there are, you can do two jobs with one action. It also happens automatically without the need for an investigation test, so it's very effective at dealing with high shroud locations. You don't have to activate it if you need to leave clues in play, but don't leave them too long on a location worth victory points. Roland's Elder Sign ability is plus one to that test for each clue on your location. But remember, on standard difficulty, there's only a 1 in 16 of this coming up. Roland's bonus card is his 38 special. It functions identically to the 45 automatic, except it costs one less resource and has two additional icons, a combat icon and a wild. It also gives you an extra bonus to your combat value in a fight test if there are clues at your location. This is why his special ability is an optional trigger so you aren't forced to lose his bonus. You can only have one copy of this card in your deck, but you can put three more uses on it with extra ammunition. Roland's weakness is quite brutal. When this card comes into your hand, resolve the revelation ability that says, Revelation, put cover up into play in your threat area with three clues on it. The last thing the card says is forced. When the game ends, if there are any clues on cover up, you suffer one mental trauma. This means that you start each future game with one horror token already on your card. And for Roland, that is devastating. So how do we get rid of those clues and neutralize the card? Reaction, when you would discover one or more clues at your location, discard that many clues from cover up instead. So instead of discovering a clue from the location and putting on Roland's investigator card, you remove one of the tokens from cover up and put it back in the token pool. This is another good reason to leave a few clues in play. Remember that Roland can discover clues by using the investigate action, defeating an enemy and activating his special ability, successfully committing deduction, playing working a hunch, or playing evidence. All of these can be used to remove the clues from cover up. The final point to remember about cover up is that removing clues is entirely optional. If you're in the last game of a campaign, why bother? If you need to discover one or more clues to advance the act deck, consider doing that as it might be more important at that moment. Also remember that cover up will not discard itself after you remove the clues. It sits in your threat area, meaning you won't see it again if you have to shuffle your deck. Roland plays well solo because he has 10 seeker cards which help him to investigate, in addition to his clue discovering ability. He has the highest combat score and plenty of combat orientated cards to help deal with enemies that have victory or objectives. He also has strong allies which help take care of damage for him. His weakness is definitely his low sanity score. He is also the only character to have all his skills covered by skill boosters. As a team player, the Guardian class lets him help other investigators with dodge, with vicious blow and with first aid. He can emphasize more combat or more investigation depending on the group makeup. Out of the core box he plays fine, although a couple of the cards like Research Librarian and Mind Over Matter are more suited to Daisy. Old Book of Law is useful for avoiding cover up but it does take up a hand slot. Cryptic Research too high level for him. As the Disc of Examiner is a one shot item, Roland is much better off just shooting monsters instead. Using the encyclopedia to give him plus two combat is great, and you can do that every turn. The experienced magnifying glass is good because it zips back to your hand when you don't need it, freeing up space for weapons. It's tempting to go for shotgun because Roland is the only core character that can use it. However, it's entirely dependent on success, which means you can be committing an awful lot of cards or resources just to have an auto fail. 
If you do go for the shotgun, make sure you pick up extra ammunition, which, at only 1 XP and 2 cost, should be in any firearms deck. The bulletproof vest isn't as versatile as an upgraded beat cop, police badge, and those extra actions are a boon for any investigator. However, as Roland has the lowest sanity, of the core investigators give some serious thought to including the Elder Sign amulet. Because he can shift his balance between combat and investigation and often achieve both in a single action, he can partner up with anyone, and his Guardian class abilities make him a solid teammate. If you have one core box, you will only get to play him with Wendy or Agnes, and either of those is fine. 